previously on Racing Namibia. So I've arrived here in Swakopmund, and this is where the race is being staged from. So we drove about a half hour on the highway, then hopped in some four x four vehicles, and we're effectively quarantining here at camp before starting the race on Sunday. We're halfway through the seven day, 250 kilometer Namib desert race, part of the Racing the Planet four desert series. Finished the previous stage in third place, and I'm in fourth place overall as we prepare for stage four. Jeez, carnage. Oh. What a heat. Okay, so we're at stage four. Um, it was quite windy last night and actually was raining pretty hard as well. But we woke up to beautiful skies. I think it's gonna be another hot one today. No surprise there. <laughs> Maybe warm. Chances of sunshine. <laughs> was 47 degrees in the sun and 29 in the shade. Nice. Again, a reminder that the shade makes such a difference. Yesterday you had the chance to get some. Today you won't have so much of a chance of shade. It's going to be wide open. So therefore at the checkpoints, if it is feeling hot, do stay in the checkpoint for at least five or 10 minutes just to cool your body down a little bit. Stage four will be mostly on runnable, harder packed terrain. We'll be running mostly off track through the middle of the Darobe Desert to Camp 5. Okay, I want to introduce you guys to my, my tent mates, my roommates here, Vladmi and Atul. Hey! Hello! Two of the best tent mates I could ask for. Thank you! Thank you! You're the Thank best you. too! Yeah, it's very fast, it's nice guy. We're so <laughs> proud of him and we're very happy. Thanks guys. Really nice guys. It's an exciting day. Yesterday yeah. was very hard. Today should be a little easier. Yeah, the sun was savage yesterday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My name is Gabriela and I live in the mountains in Norway. I grew up with uh, uh, violence and dysfunctional family and drugs and did drugs myself, but I stopped the drugs and I make. Uh, I started running. It was really uh, taking my life back. Was through the running and get back some uh, feeling of control in my life. It's really in incredible and healing for the soul. To go to the desert 250 kilometers through the desert is kind of an impossible task. And for me, with my background, I really want to show myself and everyone uh, that everything is possible. And Namibia race was the perfect challenge to really show it.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Checkpoint one. Hey guys. Feel good? Oh yeah? Stomach? Hey there. there you go. Hi. Okay, through checkpoint one in first place. Let's see if I can keep this up. kilometers left. finish line.
job. Nice work, man. Yeah. Nice work, man. Stomach. This ground is really hard, Hammer. Is it it's struggling to get a pinch? Nice work, guys. Good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Very good today. Very good. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Both of you. Both of you. Thank you. We're over straight ahead, guys, to the right a little bit. Well, today was a good day. I felt, I think, better today than I have all week. It wasn't nearly as hot today, and the course was pretty hard packed, so we were able to do some really good running. Today was definitely the fastest stage so far, and I take at least partial credit for that. I was leading the race for a good chunk of it and pushing the pace, uh, but I felt good and I figured I'd go with it. And I managed to finish in third again. I think I was only about six minutes behind from first and second, uh, but I managed to put another 15 or so minutes on uh, Rademir, who came in fourth. So it's all gonna come down to the long stage tomorrow for that podium position. on the next episode of Racing Namibia. This is the day that you've all been waiting for. The first four days were just a, just a warm up ready for today. Here we go, 68 kilometers through the Namib desert. <laughs>